This is a live look over Mission View this afternoon as rain begins to move out of the area. Boy, that looks like it's the clearest it's been all day. <laughs> we'll have team coverage mm -hmm. throughout the area. Our Jake Chapman there on the lower right of your screen is just off Fifth Avenue where a tree fell onto a home. But Brittany Beggs is standing by in our Storm Alert Center with your Halloween forecast. David, Cindy, we've got a nice night now, a cold night. The rain is moved out across Hamilton County. Still a little bit of light rain across Polk County, Monroe County, and the Blue Ridge area and LJ area. Very, very light stuff ongoing currently. This should taper off in the next hour or so. So we're going to be rain free for trick or treaters tonight, but of course a chilly, chilly night ahead here. Wet conditions show anywhere in the light green here because of the wind. Uh, we do have some improvement across Dayton Mountain. It's showing dry conditions. Fort Payne, it's showing some dry conditions. Further east you are, it's going to be a little slippery for the evening commute, but further west, we have certainly started to dry out thanks to that northwesterly breeze. Take a look at this. Since this morning, we have dropped about 25 degrees over the last 24 hours, 22 degrees colder in Chattanooga, 30 degrees colder across Altamont. They have already dropped to the 30s. Uh, the high temperature today was 73 degrees at 10 o'clock this morning. All thanks to this wind out there, temperatures have certainly plummeted. Uh, sustained winds still across McMinn County at this hour, 15 miles an hour. Hamilton County, we've got a 14 mile per hour wind still ongoing, 19 miles per hour across Fort Payne. So that's doing us some favors as far as the roads go for the evening commute. Take a look at that air temperature. It's already upper 40s across Chattanooga. Probably will give it another hour or two before that temperature drops to the 40s for Murphy and Blue Ridge and Altamont. You're going to be dropping to the 20s tonight. I will be breaking down the forecast lows, that freeze warning, and I've got your trick or treat forecast coming up in just a few minutes. David, Cindy, back to you.